September 8, 2020, that is a day many will remember for a long, long time here in Utah. That's the day hurricane force winds ripped on through northern part of the state. Nearly 200,000 Utahns lost power. Hundreds of trees were uprooted and one person was killed. New specialist Debbie Worthen has more on this storm, the damage and the aftermath still scarring some parts of the state. I've never seen anything like this before. This is crazy. Widespread damage from relentless winds that held for hours on the morning of September 8th. From the Utah-Idaho border to the Salt Lake Valley, trees uprooted and snapped, leaving destruction to the landscape and for property owners. Landmark areas like the state capitol, Liberty Park, and Hogel Zoo all took a beating, not to mention the homeowners that found their yards left in shambles. Dozens of 100-year-old trees were no match for those downslope winds that pummeled this area that day. Now, months later, new trees have been planted to replace some of those that were lost. Still, it will be years, even decades, before there's no sign of what happened here that day. We know that this is a generational storm, and the impacts and the, the face of Salt Lake City is going to be different for the rest of our lifetimes. We've lost uh, probably in the neighborhood of 1,000 trees or more. In Davis County, residents spent days clearing yards. They experienced similar conditions in 2016, but not to this extent. A record 45 semis toppled on highways, prompting the closure of I-15 and other roadways. And then there were the power outages. We understand how frustrating it is for those customers, customers who are still without service. We're truly sorry for the time it has taken to repair the damage and restore service. Tracks lines were out of service due to the outage, and at the peak of the storm, nearly 200,000 families lost power. Some didn't get it back for days. It became a big problem for families who had kids in Salt Lake School District that was 100% remote due to COVID. The most difficult thing right now has got to be school. Um, you know, my kids are, Salt Lake City School District is 100% online, and... Uh, we lost our internet. South Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, and Centerville were declared states of emergency. Flights were canceled. Days later, life was mostly back to normal. But that day goes down as one that Utahns won't soon forget. Thank you for your support. Thank you.